Elf, 13, 14, 15, 16. And this is where I started. Hello again. Yes, to another tutorial. Again, it's about Bitterlich plots and I used the dendrometer here, in this case the printed dendrometer, to establish a Bitterlich plot at this position. So I have counted 16 trees with counting factor number 2. And that means the basal area in square meters per hectare is 32. So 32 square meters per hectare at this position. If I change my position, I will get another response. So this information about the stand basal area, 32 square meters per hectare at this point, is a very important information. We can also use it to disentangle the different tree species and look at the proportions of the basal area for different tree species to get an idea about the mixture and uh, let's say how, how the total area is stocked with different species. But the point of this video is another one. I'm interested not only in the basal area in square meters per hectare but also in the number of trees per area, so per unit area. While the Bitterlich approach allows us to get a direct estimate of the stand basal area, the question remains how to calculate the number of trees per hectare. It is not meaningful and completely wrong, in fact, if I would now just use the counted number of trees, which is 16, and assume that this has some relation to the density of trees per unit area. This is not the case uh, and this would be completely wrong, because we would ignore that trees have been included with different inclusion zones, so with different probabilities. There are two different approaches now how I can derive the number of trees per hectare from this Bitterlich plot. So if I conducted my Relascope sample, my Bitterlich plot, and I counted a tree with counting factor number two, like this one here, a relatively small beech tree was inside my plot, then I know that this tree represents two square meters per hectare in basal area. If I now want to know how many of them I can find per hectare, I simply need to measure the cross-sectional area of this stem, so the tree individual basal area of this tree, and just calculate how many of these trees do I need to get the 2 square meters per hectare that I have estimated with my relascope or dendrometer before. So let's take a diameter measurement. It's a relatively small tree, 1.3 meter measurement height, you know that. And I'm here reading a diameter of 15.8 centimeters. There were some comments from other people to other videos where we used the diameter tape to determine the diameter of a tree. And they were wondering why we are measuring the circumference and how we can derive the diameter from that. Well, for those people, please check our video on diameter measurements, where we explain how such a pi band works. It has a pi scale and allows us to directly read the diameter of a circular cross-section. Now let's calculate the cross-sectional area of this tree in square meters directly. So, what I need to calculate is pi divided by 4 times the diameter of the tree in meters, so this was 0 0.158 centimeters to the power of 2. And I get a cross-sectional area of 0 0.0196 for this single tree. Since I know that this tree represented 2 square meters per hectare in basal area, because it was part of my Bitterlich plot, I can now divide 2 by 0 0.0196 nine six and I get a number of 102 trees per hectare that this single tree in the Bitterlich plot is representing. So this was a simple approach to come to the number of trees per hectare for this one specific tree. I would need to do it for all of the trees that are part of my Bitterlich plot. So all the trees that I counted I also need to measure the diameter to get the expansion factor and to calculate the number of trees per hectare. The second alternative is 
if I know the diameter of this tree, I can also calculate the critical distance and assume this as a radius of a circular sample plot and use the area of this inclusion zone in relation to one hectare to get an estimate about the number of trees per hectare. So two different ways to calculate it, both will lead to the exactly the same result. So finally the conclusion is if you like to derive an estimate about tree density, means number of trees per unit area, you can not only count them, you also need to measure the diameters of this tree to account for their unequal inclusion probabilities at the end. If you ask whether this is a good estimate for the density, I would say no. Probably if you use fixed area sample plots, the estimate or the precision between many plots will be smaller compared to uh, deriving this estimate from a Bitterlich plot. Bitterlich plots are specifically optimized towards an assessment of basal area and they are better than fixed area plots in assessing the basal area per hectare from many plots. They will show a lower variability and a higher precision in that but for the number of trees per hectare usually fixed area plots are better. Okay, this was all about estimating the number of trees per hectare from Bitterlich plots. Hope to see you in one of our next videos.